All right, guys. Shaq Talk Stocks. Another day, another video. We back. All right, guys. So we're gonna talk about IBM stock today and why shares soar through the roof. So basically, IBM. They, man. If you grew up in the '90s, all the computers in the classroom were IBM. Uh, I grew up on Dell. I didn't really grow up on Apple. Apple came later, later, way later on in my high school career. But IBM definitely ruled the 90s and Microsoft. That's what everybody played games on. That's what um we're at all the jobs. That's where that that's what ran the stock market. But as times progressed, IBM I feel didn't really progress. So that's why they kind of got left behind when Apple Cloud came out and um, all these new tech companies came out that kind of blew them out the water just by being innovative and new. You know what I mean? And had a uh, new like technology. So IBM they decided you know what only way to keep up is to upgrade and rank up so what they did is their share sword on plans to spin off its IT infrastructure unit and focus on the cloud business so everybody know about the cloud iCloud Apple cloud uh, we just talking about snowflake all that stuff is cloud where everything is stored in the cloud it's uh, not physical it's uh, you can you can use the cloud to transfer data uh, share data buy stuff all kind of stuff so let's read the article as always on Shack Talk Stocks. IBM will separate from the managed infrastructure service units of its global technology service division into a new public company. So they're having a new IPO for this company. Now the great part about this I like is the share spinoff is expected to be tax free to people who already own the stock. So IBM right now, let me see, um, let's say you want to get into some IBM, let's see what it goes for. What does IBM stock go for? IBM stock. And I think they pay a dividend too. Yep. IBM pay. Uh, it's not bad. One thirty, one thirty-four. Uh, steady rise also. Yeah, steady rise, steady rise. It's been a pretty profitable stock over the years. Uh, four point eight six dividend yield. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, so uh, their company in twenty twenty-one is going to have a spinoff. That should at the end of 2021, the company should be publicly traded. So IBM said Thursday, it's spinoff of its IT unit into a new publicly traded company to focus its legacy business more on cloud computing, a high margin segment that has seen a boost as companies increasingly ramp up their digital shift. Like they took a long time, bro. We digital everything. We don't even, you know what I mean? You you go to restaurants, you don't even have menus no more. So everything went digital. Everything is on the phone. Everything is in the cloud. Remember a couple years ago when the celebrities cloud got hacked? Shares of the company were up 7% in pre-market trading. It's going to go up even more today because um, I'm recording this before, the, well, right nine minutes after the market opened. Uh, the separation of new company, temporarily called Nuco, will be completed by the end of 2021. IBM said it will manage and modernize client-owned infrastructure, which it says is a $500 billion market opportunity. JP Morgan and Lazard are serving as financial advisors for the transaction. So they're running through these dudes as the banks to get this whole thing uh, popping. IBM has trimmed its legacy business over the years to focus on cloud, aiming to make up for slow software sales and seasonal demands for its mainframe service. Yeah, exactly. All them old um, programs on them computers, bro, nobody's using that, bro. You got to keep up. IBM will focus on its open hybrid cloud platform and AI, of course, AI capabilities. Uh, new code will have a greater agility design, run and modernize the infrastructure will be faster of the world's most important organizations. Both companies will be an improved growth trajectory with greater ability to partner and capture new opportunities, creating value for its clientele. IBM $34 billion acquisition of Red Hat, an enterprise software maker that is now part of IBM's hybrid. Okay, so they bought these dudes. So this is what they did. They're going to be running off of Red Hat. The success we've had with Red Hat gives us confidence that this is the right move. Of course, the significant shift in the business model I in the business model yep IBM's cloud and now they're gonna be able to compete that's all this shows me they, they know that Apple is the future and they need to complete compete but Shaq talk stocks just bring you some stock news today some stock talk uh, let's get it let's get this video to hmm, let's get 20 likes on this one hit the description check out the links subscribe to the channel